What's up everybody? I'm Brandon and this is a video about New Riff's newest release and it is their oldest bourbon yet, an eight year Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, but is it any good? In this video, I'm going to give you the forecast on whether or not I think it's the next must buy bottle on your next trip to the liquor store. Welcome into the Whiskey Weather YouTube channel, everybody. I am Brandon. I'm a TV meteorologist in Cincinnati, Ohio, in Northern Kentucky. And on this channel, I give you the forecast of the latest bourbon releases, as well as whiskey releases and trends going on out there in the whiskey world. And if you are a fan of whiskey, don't forget to hit that like button below. Smash it if you are a fan of New Riff. Again, New Riff Distillery. This is the oldest bourbon they've put out yet. Eight years old. They're a relatively young company. I would call them young, but also mature because they are still pretty big in the whiskey industry and the bourbon community, especially in Kentucky. Now they started in 2014 and this is an eight year bottle of bourbon. So that means that this was distilled at least in 2015 or 2016. So let's jump right into it. So New Rift Distillery, it is in Northern Kentucky, just across the river from Cincinnati, Ohio. That is in Newport, Kentucky, also Bellevue, Kentucky. They've got their single barrel program in some of the Rick houses in the Newport side, but their distillery is actually in Bellevue, Kentucky, in the parking lot of one of the biggest liquor stores around, called The Party Source, and you can check out that bourbon hunt right there on the top right of your screen. So we just learned a little bit about the distillery. Let's get to know the juice inside. As far as this bottle, just like every other new Rift bottle, it's got that black look to it, and it's got that very sleek, just gold to it. Really cool looking bottle. If you haven't had one already, you're gonna like just the way it looks. It's very elegant looking. On the bottle itself, it says, from our founding in 2014, New Rift Distilling has carefully set back whiskey for long-term aging. You hold in your hands the fruits of that investment in this well-aged bourbon whiskey, drawing on our experience as well as our sour mash traditions of the Kentucky Whiskey Making Regimen. This high rye and filtered bourbon delivery savory, spicy flavors over the inimitable foundation of mature Kentucky whiskey. Right there, it also says, Mash bill, 65% corn, 30% rye, and 5% malted barley. What I do get a lot out of the new riff is with that high rye, I get a little bit of mint, or a, not a lot of bit of mint actually, when I usually try this. So it says eight years on the bottle, and as I mentioned, it's the oldest bourbon they have released to the public. I say to the public because they do have a whiskey club, and I'm pretty sure that they have had an eight and a nine year old whiskey that they've released to the members of the club but that doesn't go on to the public. This is supposed to be part of their everyday lineup. Part of their everyday lineup is the mash bill, 65% corn, 30% rye, and 5% malted barley. And again, just like most of their other products, coming in right at 100 proof, which would line it up with all of their other bottles, which are usually bottle and bonds, unless you get the single barrel version. But why doesn't this say bottle and bond on it? It's because it's not a bottle and bond. They said in their early years, they didn't have the quantity of bourbon or the distillate to kind of have enough to make this eight year blend. So what they had to do is they had to use two different distilling seasons as part of the blend. My guess is it's this, this fall season of 2015 and also the spring of 2016 being that this is an eight year bourbon. If we go back eight years from 2024, we're looking at 2016. So we've got the eight year old whiskey. One thing I wanna put a spin on is the forecast and the weather when it comes to this. So my favorite part about whiskey and bourbon itself is actually how the weather really plays a role, hence the meteorologist and the whiskey weather aspect. Being that I work in the backyard of New Riff, I figured I might as well look up what the weather date has been while this whiskey has been aging. So over the last eight years, dating back to late 2015, the hottest temperature that that whiskey has experienced was 96 degrees back on July 4th of 2018. The coldest temperature it has experienced was minus eight on December 23rd of 2022, right before Christmas, that big cold spell all across the country. But we know that it ages with that heat and cold cycle but when it comes to hot weather, that really helps expand that barrel, bring that whiskey in. And what I did find out is over the last eight years, it has actually been the hottest eight year period ever recorded in the Cincinnati metro area. So what that means is this has undergone some of the hottest summers Cincinnati has ever had. What that tells me, there's gonna be a lot more oak profile to this than you would typically see even out of an eight year old bourbon. Because it's eight year old, I'm assuming it's probably gonna have to me more of a 10 to 12 year old oak palette just because of the amount of heat it has had uh, over its time span within the barrel and in those rick houses. Of course, the temperature in the rick houses are all going to vary depending on where the barrels were located. 
but overall it's still dealing with that heat and that cold and heat cycling. So let's give it a pop. What's it taste like? That is why you're here and that's what we're going to find out right now. Again, eight years old. I am very excited to pop this. Had to pop a, a bottle for myself and also grab one for my buddy John. Uh, you can find him on Instagram as the Dram Daddy. Uh, but I'm hoping that I'm going to be buying a couple more here just because of how good this is. Oh, right off the nose, it got it's got that classic New Riv. I get mint right away all the time, but there is a bigger ochre, oaky profile to it on the nose already. The vanilla is there, but that mint always overpowers for me when it comes to New Riff. I think it's the higher rye component, right around the 30%. But this has that, yeah, the oak really present. And you can smell the heat on the nose. I'll say that. It, it, it comes out hotter than what I usually get off a of New Riff whiskey. So let's get the palate cleanser. Okay. Oh, that's oaky. Yeah, there's a lot more oak than I usually get from New Riff. The mint is there, but it's not overpowering. There's not really any tannins to it. Oh, very delicious. Um, to me, I this takes me to like a November, December type of pour, if that makes sense. I have like a Christmassy feel. I think that's kind of the mint and the spices. It gives baking spices there. Really strong on the mint for me, uh, but not an overpowering or off-putting mint. There's vanilla and caramel there as well, but that's not nearly as present as the oak. It's got some candiness to it, like a chocolatey caramel maybe, uh, but not huge on the chocolate. Very yummy, very delicious. And this, as I did, I didn't mention it yet, but $67.99 is the MSRP. So for an eight-year-old bourbon, we just talked about Old Forester 1924, which was a 10-year-old bourbon, and that came in at the same proof at 100 proof, that one was 115. We did that review, if you wanna check that out, that's on the top right. But this is very affordable regarding an eight-year-old whiskey. The general rule lately has been about 10 years, or about every year, it's $10 a year. So that would mean that this should come in right around 80 bucks. So for 67.99, I think you're getting your money's worth when you're buying this. I'm not calling it the bourbon of the year. Uh, it's a very good pour. I would go probably buy another one myself. This one, again, as I mentioned, it's for my buddy. But yeah, I really love what New Riff has been putting out. Very good, especially for a high rye bourbon. I know that does tend to turn some people off. But yeah, this is another one that I'm definitely going to be looking to go grab another pour of. I just want to get one more sip to give you that last note. Uh, the finish, as I've been talking, it doesn't linger as much as I anticipated it to. Uh, but there's still some sweetness there. There's that tingle. Um, let's go with the mouthfeel one more time. So the mouthfeel itself, a little thin for my liking, but that's probably my biggest annoyance or biggest critique on this is that it's a thinner mouthfeel, but overall, very good. The finish doesn't blow you away, but there's still plenty of it now that I talk about it. You got that rye on the sides of your tongue, a little bit of the sweetness towards the tip. Overall, a great pour. I would recommend going out and grabbing it, especially at $67.99. I don't think you can go wrong. And I'd always, if you didn't like it, probably try to make it in a cocktail because I do know that I've had several new riff pours in cocktails and they always come out fantastic. So there you have it. New Riff's eight-year-old Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. I think it's one of those must buys the next time you see it on the liquor store shelf. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this forecast and this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on some of my future forecasts. I always end these videos the same way. No matter what the weather, it is always whiskey weather. Just please remember to drink responsibly. We'll see you in that next video, friends. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button.